The West is a giant that sometimes acts like a mouse. That's a line from a recent report by ISW uh, entitled Denying Putin His Only Strategy for Success. Uh, and they were talking about the way that the West doesn't seem to appreciate that it has as much power as it has. And that when it comes to a conflict with Russia or even a, a confrontation with China, the resources and abilities of the West are huge, just overbearing in comparison, yet we tiptoe around. And that's an interesting point. Now, the whole subject, the whole report that they wrote was really a TLDR thing, to be honest with you. And I've seen reporters, I've, I've seen press, I've read it, I've had seen reporters who've read it report on it, and they apparently didn't read all of it. Um, and it's kind of complex. And the thing, though, is they're, in a nutshell, they say, look, Putin's only chance of success is to separate the U.S. and NATO from Ukraine, and that he is projecting to the West a false image, and he's getting the West to buy into narratives that Russia is a major power, that Russia's final victory is inevitable, and that, uh, you know, there and it's through this kind of manipulation using some of the things of the resources that Russia has, some of the asymmetric resources, with, at least with Ukraine, like nuclear weapons uh, and, and such. And so it's, like I say, it's a long argument. The point about NATO, though, you know, we've really seen in this war that qualitatively Russia's horrible, right? They have just, at, from day one, really disappointed. They've, they've, you know, failed to meet the expectations and assessments of the West. And uh, that has been been shocking, right? That they they don't have the genius. They used to think they had operational genius, that they, they trained their people to be able to conduct large-scale operations and that there's this, there was a real Soviet school. This was something that they were admired by other militaries for. And we see none of that, right? They're down to operating in World War I tactics with 21st century weapons uh, at small unit scales. It's really, really pathetic. And their weaponry sucks. We've, we, we kind of knew that, but we also saw their new, they, they supposedly had invested in all these upgrades. Where are they, right? They're, they're, they've gone backwards. They're using T-62s, right? All their super weapons turn out to be not so super. And there's a lot less of them. Ukraine has, quite frankly, been whittling them down. Yet, is NATO and the West thinking that? Or are we still treating Russia in as this large power and how should we be updating our thought on that? That's the question that's posed there. And I have said, you know, I just keep coming back to when talking about Putin, Putin should be more deterred by the West than the West is by Putin. And if, you know, if he does, you know, <laughs> that is, if he ever goes too far and he triggers an intervention, right, from NATO, he's going to lose spectacularly in that moment, conventionally, right? And his only his own generals have said their only way they could fight NATO is with nuclear weapons, which is not, he does have them, that is worrying, but, you know, that's a bad option. The question is, are we acting that way? Because Putin's goal, or at least this is what ISW is saying, is he's trying to sell us a bill of goods. And we should be aware that he is selling a perception and not buy into it. We should be cross-examining it. So I don't know what we do with that. I don't know if I agree with the whole report. Uh, you know, I like their factual analysis, their intelligence gathering and assessments, not necessarily their broader view uh, analyses, uh, which is more of a political science thing, but it is an interesting point and something I just think a giant that acts like a mouse and at a certain level, I might be okay with that. We might, that might not be such a bad thing, but it is something that we should keep in mind.